tells them we're here, it's over before it started. All out war. Who will die in season eight of The Walking Dead? It's Rick and the Alexandrians versus Negan and the Saviors after all, so someone, or more than one, can't be making it out alive. The Hollywood Reporter's Josh Wiggler has broken down the death odds for all the series regulars, and you can read the whole thing at thr.com slash walking dead. But first, we're going to take a look at some of the highlights right now. And spoiler alert for the season eight premiere and the Walking Dead comics. You are about to sh your pants. So whose story is coming to an end? Rick will not be that person. Wiggler puts his odds at 1%, which is about one more than we were even expecting. I mean, come on guys, it's Rick. At 5%, we have Carol and Daryl. You can't kill Carol and Daryl, come on. And Maggie, because there's no way Walking Dead kills her while she's pregnant, especially after the brutal way she lost Glenn last season. We'll never get over that one, Negan, never. <laughs> Speaking of Negan, his death odds jump up to 15%, but Wiggler says it's just not going to happen. The Saviors will absolutely lose All Out War, as the storyline is known in the comics, and many of their ranks will die along the way, but not Negan. The grinning psychopath still has stories in his future based on his pivotal role in the Walking Dead comics. But maybe we should start getting worried for Carl and Michonne, who both rate at 45%. The comics definitely suggested otherwise, says Wiggler, as Carl remains one of the most active forces in the printed version of Walking Dead. But Chandler Riggs has grown up and is now a college student. Is it the right time for him to depart the series? It's a question we're seriously pondering, especially given the image of Red-Eyed Rick. He's of course referring to how Rick looks in the season eight premiere scenes that appear to be happening in the near future. As for Michonne, Wiggler points out, outside of The Walking Dead, Denai Guerrero is poised for an incredible 2018 as one of the co-stars in Marvel's Black Panther. Is the time right for this talent to explore new creative avenues? What's more, losing Michonne would be a massive blow to Rick's morale and could help explain why he looks so devastated in the red-eyed timeline. Say it isn't so. One regular with the highest chance to die, however, is Morgan, who sits at 95%. He's the first man Rick met in the apocalypse and has been on a roller coaster of emotion ever since. Morgan's death could serve as a wake-up call for Rick, says Wiggler, a reminder of why it's worth fighting for a better way forward, someone who could very easily fuel Rick's premier closing line about mercy prevailing over wrath. But Morgan doesn't top the list. That honor goes to Jadis at a whopping 100%. Says Wiggler, the garbage queen of the heapsters does not make it out of the season alive. Count on it. Let's just hope Rick takes out the trash sooner rather than later. Those are just a few of the highlights and you'll have to head to thr.com slash walking dead for the full odds. Premiere comments from showrunner Scott M. Gimple, plus episode breakdowns, predictions, the most memorable kills across 100 episodes and so much more. But in the meantime, who do you have in your season eight death pool? Also, how did you feel about the premiere and what the heck is going on in the various timelines? Let us know in the comments. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez. Thank <laughs> you.